welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with Friday's Dollar Tree Haul. Happy Friday. Again, the end of another week. Woo! Um, I say woo, but <laughs> it is yet again the end of another week. So, I've got some really cute stuff from the Dollar Tree today. Super excited over it. The Dollar Tree that I went to, they just kind of started to redo it a little bit. So, it was kind of hard navigating through there because it was kind of a mess. But I did pick up some great things. Um, let's see. What else can I fill you in on? I don't know if <sighs> when last time mom posted, but she's super, super sick right now. Unfortunately, I think when I was down there two weeks ago, I passed on this that I have, the congestion and all of that. But she's doing okay. I know she made a little trip to the hospital just to kind of check on herself, make sure nothing was in the lungs and all that. And She's going to be okay. Um, so, if I don't feel like crap, <laughs> but I do. I feel terrible. Um, but, yeah, she she's going to be all right. Um, I'm sure she'll post again here really soon. I'm, I'm sure. Probably today. Uh, <laughs> see? <coughs> I laugh and I get that cough. It's unfortunate, too, because when she went, they did tell her that it was, and I'm sure she'll fill you in, um, it's like a viral infection. It's kind of going around. Everybody seems to have it. And then once all the symptoms go away with like the stuffy nose and the congestion and all of that, it is this lingering cough, the cough that we've been talking about now with me for over a month. So it is just this lingering, awful cough. They've, I've had antibiotics. I've had the steroid. You guys have given me great tips. Uh, I know the one thing that she says seems to be helping her is hot tea with honey and lemon. So it just won't go away. I mean, we're not the only ones who have it. There's a ton of people right now who have this head cold and it's, that's all I'm going to say about that. But let's jump into Dollar Tree and let me show you some of the stuff that I picked up today. Move that over there. I'm going to start with my snacks. Woo! So I got my Captain's Wafers, the cream cheese and chives. You do get six packs of four crackers in each little box here. And if you know, you know, these are my absolute favorite. The one Dollar Tree that I was at, what was it, last week? They didn't have any, it was so super sad. So I have to stock up. My little snack shelf over there is pretty much bare. We have some applesauce left in like a snack pack or something. Um, So yes, got the Captain's Wafers, super, super yummy, love those. I haven't had these in a while, but I decided to pick them up because hmm, it's the weekend. I'm going to binge. We have the fudge covered peanut butter cookies by Oven Baked. Phenomenal. And I'm just going to continue to say that. These are my choice favorites from the Dollar Tree. They sell this version at Walmart. They sell a version at Aldi's. They sell it at Dollar Tree. They sell it at Dollar General. Pretty much everywhere, right? These are my all-time favorite ones. So the Dollar Tree has got them all beat right now as far as the fudge-covered peanut butter cookies. These are my absolute favorite ones, and I love them. I'm not sure how many you get in each pack because I usually pretty much just eat them all. Um, <laughs> it looks like you get about 16 in each one, but they're super-duper good, and I just I have to have them. And then I also picked up my Junior Dippers. These are the little cracker sticks back here, which are little tiny cup of cheese down here that you can bend and rip apart to take them individually. This is another obsession of mine, as you guys know. But you get five little cracker sticks in each, on each container and then your little cheese cup right here to dip in. And they're delicious. I love them. I don't think I got any other snacks. I don't think so. So, let's see. I didn't even take the stuff out of the bags yet, guys. <laughs> so I don't know if that's laziness or what that is right now. Oh, but did you notice I started to get this tree done back here? So, we're getting there. I have to buy new Christmas lights or no strand of lights because mine are dead. They died. Um, I found some cute little stocking stuffers for the kids at Dollar Tree, and I love them. Let me just show you. Super cute. Look at this adorable Minnie Mouse in a car 
I love it. I know it says three plus, but this is going to Avery, okay? Minnie Mouse <clears throat> does not come out. So it's not like she's just going to take the head off and eat it. So I can't see why she can't have it. She loves to play with her brother's toys. So I got her her own little car. Look how cute. I love the pink car, the black little tires there. And then, of course, Minnie Mouse's absolutely adorable face in there. <sighs> An obsession of mine. And it has that pull back action. So you pull it back and then let it go and it goes. That's fun. She won't understand that. But I guarantee you it'll happen by accident because she won't even know what she's doing. And I think that's it. That's all I could tell you about it. But it is Disney Junior. It is $1.25. I don't think I've got anything from the Dollar Tree Plus section today. So look how cute. So that's going to Miss Avery. And then I found these little stuffies that I thought were just absolutely adorable. They are by Fuzzy and Friends. And look at these. How cute. They're like little... um. Like those little wine tumblers, maybe. I, they're for kids, so I'm sure it's not a wine tumbler. But this is what it reminds me of. So it's like a tumbler. It has like this straw here at the top. And it's super cute. It has grapes on it. Super soft. I'm going to cut that tag off of there. But like super soft and plushy. I love it. My niece, who is seven, absolutely loves her stuffies. That's what we call them. She calls them her stuffies. So I thought this was really cute. And then I got another one here. Look how adorable this one is. Look at that. Look at the face. <laughs> like, seriously. Again, super, super soft. But it's so fuzzy and soft. I love it. So I got one for my great niece, one for my niece. And I think that they're just going to absolutely adore these. This one kind of like reminds me of a soda can, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be coffee because they're like the brown dots everywhere. But look, love them. So they're getting those. I also, don't fall, I picked up this. And the label just came off, so let me slide it back up. This is, it's called Make It Blocks. It's a block storage case. These are for your Legos. So it says compatible fits all leading brands. Construction blocks not included. It is just the box, but look at this. So you open the box up and it has four different storage compartments for your Legos. And then you can take the top off, lay it next to it if you want to. And you can build right on top of here, right? Then you take them off, you put them back in, and then you put that back on as your lid. How cute. We're just going to slide that off and just look. So there's your inside and here's your lid. So this is like your base to play with your Legos. And then you just put them away. Put the lid back on, and how convenient is that? You have a little storage container. It holds your little Legos, and again, you can build on it. So I think that is just phenomenal. Again, $1.25. I got a little nervous because I wasn't sure, um, but it does say on the tag there because they have now started to, and I know I mentioned this before, so instead of just having like a Dollar Tree Plus section, which they still do, but they've now like mixed in the Dollar Tree Plus stuff with the regular Dollar Tree stuff. So you got to pay attention. I didn't even see it in the toy section. So you just have to watch what you're buying if you're looking to spend a certain amount. Let me just put my bag over here. I should have been more prepared, I know. All right. And then they have these super cute little dolls. These are called Forever Friend. Nope. <laughs> friends forever club and look how cute these are you do get that no, you don't get there is four of them it shows you back here that you can collect them all and I felt like she's like kind of like on the heavy side but I did find two of them there so these are the the two let me hold that up here and just look how stinking cute these are I love them. I love this pink and green. I think that's super cute. So you do get, I keep saying you do get, you get one per box, per thing. There's four in the set. So we have Vera and I'm assuming this says, I'm not sure how you pronounce I-H-A. But I thought these were great. 
and it gives you like a little story. Like it says, Vera has the passion for crystals and gemstones, and it goes on to tell you a story. And then, you know, so every one of them has like this little story next to this person. And I just thought these were super, super cute. Right? Love them. We're going to put these back in the bag here so I don't lose this stuff. And then, let me put these little plushies away. And then I saw these. These are called Smashers. Look at this. Look how cute this is. So it is a dino egg and you smash open the new smash egg and collect a whole world of wacky dinosaur smashers. So basically we do, let's say it tells us throw, smash, and a surprise on the inside. So you get a bunch of like little wacky dinosaurs. You can collect them here. And as you can see, if you can see, it does have like all these little lines. It's not going to be hard for them to break it open, but that's really cute. So I picked up two of them. I hope that they're different on the inside, that, I, that he gets different dinosaurs. Um, oh, and it comes with a collector's guide. That's what this is here. So it, I guess it'll show you all of the ones that they do make. So that's really cool. Oh, it says collect there's over 20 different ones to collect. So I think those are fun for the little ones, right? I know he'll love it. So, so that means I do. <laughs> Let me just, oh, I want to put Avery's mini mouse back in there. But that I think is all I got as far as like stocking stuffers are concerned. But are they not like the cutest little things and save you a little bit of money, seriously. So for me, I got, they have a little bit of a selection of nails. You get 12 of them. So hmm, the only thing about that is you really, they really need to fit because you got 10. So you only get to spare two. So I'm hoping that we can size these pretty well. If not, you can kind of file them down on the sides, make them fit. But look how cute these are. I love this. I like the fact that some of them are like this really cool glitter, and then you have your solid color nails. These are not holding up that well. As you can see, I broke one today. Um, they're really not holding up that well, and these were from Timu, and I usually don't have like a complaint about the Timu nails. Every once in a while, I get a bad set. Um, they crack right down the middle because they're kind of like on the thin side, so... These didn't last. I think they've been on for a week, so I'm going to have to change those out. But I thought these were really cute, so I figured I'd pick those up and give those a try. And apparently I was in a snacking mood today. You would have thought my son went with me, but he didn't. Ooh. So they have the little containers of Pringles. Sometimes I get into like a sweet and salty mood, so I need something like chips, Pringles, things like that, and then like cupcakes or brownies or candy or cookies. Um, like in a whole sweet and salty mood right now. Anywho, sour cream and onion, 2.5 ounce container. And you know what? Actually, I need to check the receipt because I'm not sure. I'm assuming they were $1.25, but now I can't honestly be sure. So I will check my receipt and I'll get back to you about that. And then I realized that I also picked up the Mickey Mouse. Look how cute, right? So my great nephew, he just turned one last week, week before. I don't even know. Today's the 11th. He The second. He turned one on the second, so I thought this would be really super cute for him to have too. So Avery will have Minnie and he will have Mickey, right? I love, love, love those. That's going right in that bag. And then I thought this was super cute. Look at this. So they had a bunch of different little wooden stakes here. But of course, him being my favorite, and I don't remember if I took pictures of the remaining ones. I don't remember. If I did, I'll post them. I don't know if I did. But anywho, look how stinking cute this snowman's face is. I love it. Again, you could just use the head. This can be taken apart. Heat that up, it's just glued on there. Heat it up, yank this sucker off, and you can just use the snowman head. <coughs> that is kind of my intention. 
because I can never stick a steak into anything around here. So I just thought that his face was like the cutest little face ever. So had to be mine. Loved it. Got that. And then I picked up this pizza pan. And this is basically for crafting purposes, right? Because you guys know I need to get more going here. Um, it's hand wash only, even heating for golden brown baking results. And it's $1.25. That's all it really, the info that it gives you. You can tell the size of this. Here you go. And again, you can use this obviously to cook your pizza, but this was bought for crafting purposes. We're going to make something great next week. I think I'm doing this one next week. I don't know. We'll see. So get yourself a pizza pan. And then I also got this candy jar with lid. And that's, I can't read what that says. Great for catering parties and special occasions. That's what that says down there at the bottom. So there is two ways you can put this. It has a flat side here. So you can put it down like so. Or it has a flat side here where you can put it upright. And then, of course, the detachable lid that's just held on there by tape. I just pulled the top off. And it's plastic. It's not glass. They do, I think, have glass. They do have glass smaller versions. This is just a bigger version, and it is plastic and clear and perfect. And again, I bought this for crafting purposes as well. So stay tuned. And then I had to get this. It is a display easel. I don't have one like this. I have those little metal ones. I don't know if you guys remember those. They've been out for like years over there. Um, it's perfect size for place cards, photos, plaques, small paintings. But look at the size of this. I think this is fantastic. They do have them in two different colors. They have the clear here and they also do have them in black. I just went with the clear one. It's by Special Moments Memories Collection. Let's see if we can break this off without breaking anything. Oh, there we go. But just look, because sometimes I need something. I'm always trying, like when I make something, I'm trying to like prop it up on against the wall here to, you know, take good video and pictures for you guys. So I figured this is a great size because I could sit something smaller on here that I made, something bigger on here that I made, either or it'll work out fantastic. Fold that up, put it away if not needed. But look how cute, right? So this will definitely come in handy. And again, they have them in clear and they have them in black. But if I have any pictures, of course, I'm going to post them at the very end of this video. But that's it. <laughs> Happy Friday and have a fantastic week. Until next time. Bye now.